Today, we're gonna cut this kayak in half and see if I can plastic weld it back together. Now, before you guys just obliterate me in the comments section below, I just wanna let you guys know that we have already used and abused this kayak. This has just been a fun play kayak over the years. I've had it for a while. This is one of those Sam's Club specials that you get for 200 bucks that I actually ended up getting for free. It was already having water problems and water getting in. And it's just one of those really cheap kayaks that you don't wanna invest too much money and really do anything with. But I've always wanted to see for, for myself first, firsthand what is inside a kayak, just like the structure of it, whatever. Honestly, I just want to cut it in half and just see if I can't re-plastic weld it back together and just do like a full 360 cut. That would be fun in and of itself, just doing that. And I've got my sons running around here watching me do it. Anyways, let's do it. I've got just my Ryobi saw and I've got another another blades, another saws off. I need to just finish the cuts. I have a few ideas on how I can get a perfect cut or at least try and get a perfect cut. And then we're just gonna take a torch and maybe some five gallon buckets. You know, this stuff is made out of the same thing that five gallon buckets are made out of. So you don't have to go on Amazon and get specific kayak welding material. Done talking, let's flip this camera around. Let's get the saw out and cut this thing in half. Oh, there you go. Check it out, boys. Go <laughs> look inside. It's skinnier than it seems when it's not um, cut in half. That's what it looks like inside. All right, so here's inside of a kayak. Just as simple as we thought for the most part. I mean, it's only held together. Here's the, the scupper holes right here. Right there, another scupper hole right there. Right there is gonna be just one of your storage buckets. Now, this is just a basic kayak again. It's cheap, so there's not as much structure in these. Here's the other one inside. Scupper holes, little hole for your, or your little holder for your cup. Same thing, cup holder over here. And just your indentations for your eyelets. Yeah, pretty basic, man. You can see how they just do this all in one shot. They just throw this in a mold and put the plastic in and heat it or tumble it or whatever they do. I've seen some sort of videos. There's right terminology for all that stuff, but comes out just like this. So here's what we're gonna do. 
we are going to take this and I need to remove just these gator guards right here, clean up the edges. I gotta remove the gator guard on this side right here. And we're just gonna see if we can't do somewhat of a plastic weld. I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna mess around and see if we can't get it to be strong again. I mean, it's not gonna be perfect, but we got some pretty clean cuts all the way around as you can see. So it might do something, I don't know, it might do something. So that's pretty much it for part one. I'm holding this kayak, so it is welded back together. I'm gonna save that one for part two, which is gonna come out here in the next few days. And of course, part three is gonna be putting this on the water and see if we can't catch a fish, even if it's just like a little dock snook or maybe a sheep's head or something like that. Something very, very simple. That's it for part one. I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, stay tuned for part two where we take the rest of the gator guards off and we weld this thing together. I have to warn you, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it is back together and we will get on the water <laughs> with this kayak. All right, guys, see you in part two.